Repetitive stress injuries and overuse stress injuries are extremely common these days. Uh, there's such a huge emphasis on sports this, in this country. Um, kids are doing year-round sports where they used to do several sports and uh, with the family expectations of uh, the family parading them around to all kinds of camps, special uh, teachers, special instructors, a huge amount of emphasis, uh, kids' bodies are just not prepared to do it. Playing multiple sports uh, rather than one is, is really a, a much uh, better way to go, uh, both mentally and physically. Uh, if one is using the same muscles all the time, uh, higher increased risk of injury. If one was a professional athlete, so be it, but not in the growing stages. Uh, I think even a bigger situation is really the mental thing. You have an eight or 10 year old playing baseball 11 months a year, I just don't think it's the normal way of things. Kids burn out. Um, and I, I, it just doesn't go well with one sport very often. The parents and the coaches um, are enormous influences on kids with uh, kids sports. Uh, certainly every aspect of their life, but they want to please the parent whether they're enjoying the sport or not, whether they're hurt or not. Um, I think in our culture, it's kind of suck it up, you're fine, go out and play. And sometimes they are, but sometimes they aren't. And uh, it's hard for a 10 or 12 year old to take on a coach or a uh, expectant father uh, in that situation. As far as balancing the uh, extra hours uh, kids put in during their sports participation, just like everything in life, I think moderation in all things. In that certainly you, you want to try hard, but we all know that 99.9% .9 of, of uh, uh, kids, not only are they not going to play pro sports, they're not going to get a scholarship. And the original purpose of, of kids sports, and adult sports for that matter too, is to get some exercise and have fun. And I think we've kind of lost that over the last couple decades. The signs and symptoms of most overuse injuries really are the most important thing is pain. And if somebody is doing playing with pain and doing something that uh, is hurting them, their body is trying to tell them something's wrong, back off. When I diagnose overuse injuries, just like any patient I see, the history and physical is key. Um, for instance, you know, a, a pitcher in Little League, certainly Little League is your elbow, is something that is always on the list. Our physical exam is important on where they hurt and, and so forth, things, things like that. Um, to their credit, I think a lot of parents and especially coaches know about most of the overuse injuries because they see them all the time. Uh, so they have a pretty good inkling uh, of what's going on and can ref refer them if need be. Overuse injuries uh, can be attacked uh, several ways. Uh, one of the most important things is, we've talked, touched on earlier, is playing multiple sports to challenge different groups of muscles. If we're challenging the same group of muscles all the time, greater chance of injury. Um, and uh, there's kind of two halves to it when I tell most patients in the office with things like this. Half number one is building themselves up. Appropriate stretching, kids sports, they don't do enough uh, uh, pre-participation stretching, it's like a minute. Um, I do you have a lot of physical therapists and trainers involved, and it's not like they do specific physical therapy, it's teaching the kids how to stretch, an appropriate stretch, and how long. The other half we've kind of touched on already is what we call activity modification. And I generally have two rules that I tell parents and child athletes. Rule number one is if it hurts, don't do it within reason, you know, if they told every kid to be pain free, there wouldn't be any. Rule number two, way more important, common sense. Sometimes in the spring, I'll have a 10-year-old uh, catcher catching uh, uh, three baseball games the same day. Well, that's just not common sense. And most of the parents deep down really know this.